Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And I'm gonna do a couple of book reviews here because I need to catch up on my book reviews. I'm getting so many books read and I'm not getting <laughs> the book reviews. So I'm forgetting about the books before I get the chance to do the book reviews. Gosh, so many problems for a YouTuber. So anyway, if you're interested in checking out all my book reviews, if you haven't already, check out the playlist. It's ever growing as I'm probably putting on one or two of the new books per week as I just figured I might as well start reviewing these books as I'm reading them anyway. Uh, right now I'm actually reading How to Fail at Almost Anything and what's it called? <laughs> it's a long title. How to Fail at Almost Everything and Still Win Big by Scott Adams, but that's not what I'm doing a book review on today because I am not done with that one. Uh, what I'm gonna do a book review on is on, let's do a Why Things Stick because I think that was a, a pretty good book. Anyway, so Why Things Stick, uh, this book is a really, really quite good book. It's based off of a concept in a book called, uh, I think, Contagious, is it the, I believe is the one. It might have been, no, 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 not Contagious. That's, that's also a similar type of book, but it's based off of Malcolm Gladwell's book, uh, Not Outliers, what is it? I'm, I'm trying to think of what it was. Um, uh, tipping Point, Tipping Point, which was a good one. So Malcolm Gladwell's book, Tipping Point, you could check that out. But the book I'm reviewing today is called Why Things Stick. Uh, and what it is is essentially in, in Malcolm Gladwell's book on the tipping point, he talked about you know, how things essentially go viral, how things get you know momentum. And he talked about this idea of that one of the elements is stickiness. And so uh, I believe it's Dan Heath and I forgot the other co-author of this book. Anyway, they wrote this book on why things stick and they basically took, uh, you know, t t took that idea and ran with it and, and came up with, you know, what is it that actually makes an idea quote sticky so that it's more likely to get passed on, people are more likely to rem remember it. And they, you know, they talked about different stories that have stickiness to them, right? So one of them that you've probably heard is that whole urban legend where some some dude is at the bar, some hot chick, uh, he buys him a drink. Before he knows it, he wakes up in a bathtub filled with ice. You know, he's cold. He sees a note that says, call the doctor, call the hospital. He goes and he, he calls the hospital and the nurse tells him, uh, you know, check, uh, you know, feel around in your back. Did you wake up in a bath full of ice? Yeah. It's like feel and see if there's a, a cut back there, if there's any blood or a tube sticking out. And then he does and he's shocked and he feels it and, and she says, you've been a victim of, of kidney theft, right? <laughs> Someone stole your kidneys, uh, one of your kidneys. So <clears throat> it, urban legend, not true, right? But that story stuck, right? You've probably heard that story, it got passed around. So essentially what they do is they take stories like this and, and they dissect it and they figure out what is it that actually makes a story sticky. And what it, what it turned out to be is they came up with a few factors here. I, I don't remember all of them, but it's essentially simplicity is, is number one. So I, I can get on board with that, you know, keeping things simple. Uh, simplicity is really important. Making these concrete, right, instead of abstract. Uh, I think one of them was to have emotion, obviously, uh, a story, to have a story, and then I can't remember what the last one is. There's there's one more piece in there. I'll, I guess I'll have to go back and, and read the book again. But but anyway, they had a lot of really good examples in there. Really convincing. Really, you know, sometimes I read these kind of theoretical books where it's you know research driven, and you know we figured out what makes something viral, and you know we've dissected it. And I'm like, yeah, okay, lots of statistics and psychology, you know, but I. I don't know, like really, you know, but, but these guys really did, you know, and they did a good job because so many of the stories from the book I remember and it's, it's because of how they use their own, you know, they dog their, their own concepts in here. So 
This is a book that I definitely highly recommend for anyone doing marketing, anyone telling stories, right? And we all tell stories. We all, you know, want to have ideas that are sticky. So this is really good. It's entertaining read because of the stories in it, the sticky stories that they, they talk about in there. Uh, of course, I listened to the audio, audible version of it. You can check it out again, why things stick. And uh, I think you'll like it. I, I definitely recommend it. I would give it, you know, probably like an eight out of 10. I, mean, I better not start that because then I'll have to start giving ratings to every every book. But, but it's definitely one that I recommend. I didn't have anything really that I objected with. I know that some, some copywriters objected to them, you know, kind of bashing, not really bashing, but you know, kind of not saying the most positive things about copywriters and marketers, which is totally fine. But anyway, I think you should check out the book. Uh, if you like it, definitely uh, let me know. And if you like these, uh, these book reviews, you know, subscribe, right? Hit that button. Go ahead and click it now. I'll wait. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.